Hello everybody, this is Hyrule from Vidu.com, another League of Legends commentary for you today. Today I'm actually going over Ramus. Uh, Ramus is a very strong, tanky uh, jungler. I'm actually jungling on him. As you can see, I have Smite. Uh, with me in this match, I have Madness, aka Death. Uh, he's playing Gnosis, so pretty much puts a timer on the game because the later the game goes, the more and more Gnosis gets built up and he can pretty much dominate everything. Uh, then we have... Uh, Justana, which was Goy, and we had Hemi on Soraka, Calpair on Zareth, and of course me on Remus. Um, little weird team comp on their end. They had Van jungling. I don't know what that was about. But uh, anyways, uh, for my build, I'm gonna go right into that. Uh, for masteries, I actually go 2.27.1. Um, I get Butcher for the extra damage on the Creeps. Then I go all uh, defense, pretty much. You got the whole, basically, the whole tree going 27 there. I do put one point in utility uh, for the insight, for the flash, for the 15% reduction on my cooldown there. And then for runes, um, I pretty much go my jungling uh, page, which is armor pin marks, uh, flat armor seals, magic resistance for level glyphs, because I don't, I need, don't need the magic resistance until later on, after getting into lanes and stuff. And then um, for glyph, for um, for quintessences, I'd have one armor pen uh, quintessence and two gold per ten quintessences. Uh, reason for that is because it lowers my, uh, increases my armor pen to pretty much do like true damage to the creeps in the jungle, and then I get two uh, gold per ten quintessences to help my uh, farm because I don't really get as much farm usually as the other um, as my teammates do, so I kind of need it for the extra gold. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Yeah, we're about thirty seconds into minions uh, spawning, and we're all just defending because they had two ranged AD carries. So we thought they were going to go into our jungle, but we do re we did realize that they didn't have CB. Um, so we so we decided that man, they were not going to jump um, gank me at uh, Golems after all at blue buff. See as we CB them, so we see they're on their blue buff. So yeah, we're not going to even bother to defend anymore because we knew they're not going to come. So I start my build off of course as a basic jungler, uh, cloth armor and uh, five health pots because of his passes and like that. I'm actually getting discos in a little bit. Um, for Ramus, he's an extremely strong jungler um, because of his ability with his uh, W skill which is the shell and he basically like does if every time the creeps hit me, I actually repel the damage and put it right back on them. And I only flash very um, early smite there because I know they're not going to come at me. I know they're not going to try to steal blue, so I can just smite it right off the back and try to get the cooldown a little quicker on my uh, my spell. And boom, make quick uh, quick work of a blue buff. Move on the wolves. Uh, you do the basic uh, jungle rotation as Ramus. Uh, you start with blue buff, wolves, rays, and then double golems, and back to red. And after red buff, you can pretty much gank uh, bottom at that point. I can see Ramus is a pretty uh, quick jungler, plus the fact that he can uh, powerball. Uh, at level uh, 2, I do get powerball. Because uh, that moves you through the jungle a little faster, plus you do the extra damage there in AoE. See, Wraith Grand Boom, it's already gone. I don't know why it took me two hits on that Wraith, I don't know why. And with blue buff, I mean, Maramus's mana just stays up like to maximum like the whole time. As long as you have blue buff and you're jungling on him, which is awesome. So I wait till ball of gums get on me, and then I do the ball. So I hit both of them. No attack down. Now notice my smite's up, I'm not going to use it because I want to use it on red instead. Now with your W skill, you can cancel it in the middle of it. So I can start recharging faster. At level three, I get another point in that uh, in my W because I don't need taunt quite yet until I start ganking, which ended up being a bad thing because when I ganked, I kind of needed it. But uh, for jungling wise, you really do need the extra point in the W, and then I then you max your taunt afterwards. So here we go for the uh, gank bottom. Pop another health pot, get my health back up again. And I started spinning in the bushes, and they said, oh, we're going to wait a second. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait now, because I already started spinning. So I flash in, get the graves. I wish I had taunt, which I didn't, but so I would have got the kill there. But I did force one flash, and then there's a second flash from Leona. So I did force a double flash there. Um, so that was going to help later, because even though the gank wasn't, quote-unquote, successful, we didn't kill anybody, um, 
it doesn't matter because we actually force both of them, both the other team, to flash out of that. Plus we push the lane back up so we can get the war down on Dragon and move on. So, although people say, oh, you didn't kill anybody, well, we force both of them to flash because now when I go back there and gank later or when they're fighting in that lane to try to get a kill, um, they don't have the defensive um, summoners anymore to try to get away. So that helps out a lot. It looks like I'm limping. <laughs> it looks like Ramus is limping as I'm running through the jungle. So this is probably a good time to... Um, Oh, oh yeah, my uh, stuff now. Um, so basically his passive is basically increases your attack damage for every armor you have. So that's pretty cool there. And the Q is of course your ball. Your W skill is the, like I said, the reflective damage onto the other team, which is pretty much like a thorn mail. Um, it reflects the damage there. Unfortunately, there's first blood top, unfortunately. Uh, the E skill is your taunt. That is his bread and butter skill. Um, basically, it taunts the enemy onto you, which again puts you into the W, so you do damage to them. And of course, his ultimate, which does the AoE damage, um, <clears throat> which is a lot, a lot of AoE damage for like eight seconds. And it can also work on towers, and structures. So you might, so when you start doing uh, like towers and stuff like that, you, you pop that, and you can do some damage to it. So now I'm just running back into my jungle again. I was just protecting the turret, unfortunately, from uh, death's uh, death there. Death's death. <laughs> death's death, yeah. Now it's pretty much time to talk about the new jungle. Uh, the new jungle, I actually do like the uh, the quicker spawning of the camps of the minions and the uh, gold banking system. They get extra gold for the longer you leave the uh, creeps sitting there. So that way if you gank, uh, you can go back and get extra gold for it. So, I like it. Some people really don't care for it, but me, I'm, I guess, one of those rare ones that liked it. And, of course, you saw that kill there on that bottom lane. Um, that's because of the gank from before. I got the flash out of them. And now I come down bottom, and I see Leona is pushed up a little bit, so I sneak down in the bottom bushes there. So I, that way she doesn't know I'm there. And then she goes into the bush herself to try to hide and try to um, seep up some XP. But she doesn't know I'm there, so then she jumps on Tristana to try to bait Tristana bait it because she was low on health. Um, she jumped on Tristana, I end up pulling the taunt off to get her off Tristana, and then we get the kill. And actually, I get the kill. <laughs> that's, that part of that w, that's part of his W, is uh, um, reflective damage from his W skill. And even though I'm pretty low on mana, um, because of the amount of armor for my cloth armor, and my W skill, I'm still able to do a lot of damage because the armor uh, converts into my attack damage. And because I got armor pin on my uh, on my runes, it allows me to do quite a bit of damage to those uh, creep camps. So all I gotta do is hit W, and I can pretty much auto attack them down. And also, as you can see, even though I've ganked a couple times because of the new creep uh, camps like respawning, I'm actually keeping up on creep kills uh, from against the other uh, against the other team there. So I like it. So um, I use my smite, so I'm going to go back before the blue buff, because blue buff's up, so I'm going to go back and... Uh... So this is my uh, second time back uh, buying now, and I buy my Merc Treads, because that's why I bought the Null, kill, null, null Cape and Boots, because I wanted to get my Merc Treads for that signature movement. And I buy some wards in that meta part, because I wouldn't know if I was going to give it to Xerath or not. Um... Because usually give it to AB carry, but they're currently fighting in mid, and um, it was a pretty in Calpair there got the kill actually. Um, usually, <laughs> usually uh, LeBlanc is a powerful uh, AP mid. I guess LeBlanc was very good because there you see his health rate there. He was almost dead. So good job on Calpair to actually pull off that kill there. So here I am getting that blue buff. Wait for my smite to come up. And now I'm level 6, so I get my own. Yeah, and my spine didn't come out soon enough. Oh well. So we're back into jungle rotation again. 
the point really is <laughs> this is the little dull part of the uh, video, but just again, repetition of just jungling like that. Now I'm actually going to head into, uh, I was actually going to try to head into their jungle, um, to pop a ward or to, uh, gank, uh, LeBlanc there. I tried to gank LeBlanc. She was right there in front of me. Um, she was falling health. I didn't know where Vayne was at the time, so I come up and it's like, oh, hi, hi, Vayne, how you doing? But I, I was kind of low on HP, plus I had a blue buff. I didn't really want to give her, give a blue buff to her, so I decided not to go. And because Vayne's right there, I know I probably shouldn't gank LeBlanc either. Um, you might as well just pass around through lane because they know I'm there, so. Just play a safe dude, and I just like to play a safe game. That's all. This extra hit on the top, breathe again. <laughs> and now we're further into the game, now I'm gonna get my red buff there. Because I'm a melee. Uh, because Ramus is a melee champion, you get into the fight so fast. Um, red buff's actually very good on him because you get the extra um, AoE damage from the red along with your ult. And then you uh, also get um, the slow, so you get a constant slow on them. Which you see another slow item I'll get later. <laughs> now, the reason why I use my taunt like this lowers his armor down, so I try to get the him, uh, that golem, killed faster because I want to try to get that bottom lane try to gank it as quickly as possible because they were kind of fighting there and trying to figure out if they wanted to fight or not so I start spinning right here um, apparently they did have a war in the bush because you see them see a little you know fall back there so I couldn't get in there try to get the kill I only have half health so so I passed on that and I rewarded dragons I, I didn't know when his ward was when he put the ward there so I just rewarded it in case that one went down so now I'm going to try to gank uh, mid now I have my flash up, so I'm going to try to spin up, wait for my speed to get up, flash over the top, boom, hit that, taunt, keep him held right there so Zareth can start shooting her skills off. Then I don't know how, but as you can see, I got the kill. I don't know how I did it, but I got the kill. The only thing we could figure. Oh, yeah, and then Eva's dying. Tristan gets the bottom kill, they get the double kill, and we get the not double knock up top, so. We actually got three kills in a matter of that one little like ten second span, which is awesome. So right now we're way up in kills. Um, but going back to the LeBlanc, I don't know how I got that kill. Um, the only thing we can think of is that um, that my W that was up for their minion because of my um, because of the W skill and along with my um, masteries, which does extra damage to minions and stuff. That's the only thing I could think of is how we killed her, is that she kind of just popped that on me. Because I didn't have Ignite or anything, so it's kind of weird. Um, while I was talking there, of course, Tristana got the uh, tower there after the kill. So, of course, now we got position bottom. You melee should dragon right afterwards. Now, I'm a little low on HP, so we were a little nervous about me. Yeah, I was a little nervous about doing it. So I pumped my ult, try to speed up the process a little bit, because I wasn't sure if I was going to die or not. It just time took a little longer to get there, so I'm like, okay, I gotta run! So fortunately, um, she had to use her ult. Um, she, she had, sort of Soraka had to ult me, unfortunately. Um, um, but I lived, I lived, I lived to tell the, lived to, uh, go, go again here. <laughs> But right now we're up a dragon and a turret. And because Renekton went bottom, um, Arnassus went top, so Arnassus is now getting up, picking up that turret. But now they're out of position. So make sure when you when you verse the other make sure when you see like where their positioning is on the other team, if you see their top guy go bottom lane or mid lane, that's a good opportunity to try to push that into that lane top lane, because you now you're gonna see that they're out of position. Oh yeah, funny Calvary is like, I'm out of mana, can you uh, take over for me? I'm like, dude, look at my health. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, never mind. An enemy has been slain. And there's that uh, attempt gank uh, top there, and also get the kill. So good on him. Yeah, I'm not sure why their vein um, jungled there. I really don't know, understand why that was. But she did, so whatever. 
So this is my next uh, buyback, so now I get my thorn mail. So now I pretty much get thorn mail plus the passive W, so I'm doing a lot of damage to their uh, carries. And because they had three pretty much 80 carries between Vayne, Graves, and Renekton, um, that's going to increase my damage there. So by getting that thorn mail, like this one right here, that increases my armor, which goes along with the passive and my uh, and my W skill, and it also increases my uh, attack damage too. So now I'm doing a ton of damage now. Not to mention I'm going to be farming these creeps a little faster too. Nah, I, I didn't smite that because I wanted to save my smite just in case so something else happens. Usually uh, it's 10 gold, but because of the new smite now it's it's a little hard to get back. So now I'm going to be ganking a Renekton here. Now I, even though now he hasn't warded it, so I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for it. So I waited for his exhaust to pop off. So you get the get initiate there, and we get the taunt off, and boom. He's dead. Taunt, Ramus' taunt is just so powerful. Plus it shreds their armor too. So between his, between Nasus's AoE plus my taunt, shredded so much armor off him. Um you're pretty much doing true damage to him at that point, just about. So there's a blonde scheme pushed up, so I start spinning and try to catch up with her. And I taunt her off, just to make sure she stays in put, and we got the kill. Now, Vayne tries to start attacking me, and then she realizes, oh god, he has thorn mail, so now we're doing a ton of damage to him. You told me to get back, but, I, dude, I'm like at half health, I'm not worried about it, so I get vision for Zero if he gets the kill. Yeah, Vayne, that was so funny. Vayne's like, oh, I'm going to kill Remus. He's low on health. Oh, God, he has thorn mail. Ah! <laughs> so, boom, we got three kills in a matter of about a minute there. So I go back and buy again. And now I get some health. I need something to be a little tankier, so I get a giant spell. Oh, yeah, when you leave um, spawn there, the well, make sure you hit Q because that's going to get you back in the lane faster. And because you did it standing at the well and you gain health and mana at the well, you're going to re get that mana back for using that Q. So it's like a free skill when you leave and you get actually you get back into the, uh, back into the battle faster. Now I'm going to keep my uh, creep totals up, so I'm going to be uh, farming uh, the wolves there. And hitting back over the rays. I know I don't use smite very much. I might have to use smite more often. Hmm. Oh well. So now I'm rebuffing myself. I red buff again because they taunt. Because of the taunt, especially with the in fact, they have several melee characters. Um, because they're gonna get right in front of me. That, like I said, the auto attack for Reds gonna slow them down. At least until I get my uh, next item. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you guys what my next item is yet. Well, you're probably thinking, "Oh, it's frozen mallet." Mm, think again. Rampage. Yeah, so they're batting up in that bottom lane there on the right side of the. Uh, Map so, but I'm not really concerned because we're like so much so far of a lead now. So now we saw their blue buff somehow. Oh, but yeah, right after that kill, I said, "Guys, blue buffs up! The blue buffs up!" So we ran, immediately run over and try to take it. Then we have the numbers and everything, and the posi plus the position. Once you have position in their jungle, make sure you try to steal their jungle because that also prevents them from getting more gold. And then there's that mana pot uses because after a while you do run low on mana because Ramus, unfortunately, when he levels, doesn't really get much mana, much of a mana pool when he levels. So make sure you do that. That's why some people buy um, Crystal Shout and, uh, and a Frozen Heart because that gives them a good mana base for the for Ramus, along with the slows and stuff on top of that. Um, but actually, don't do that. Now, here we have Renekton Ward, and he just warded right there. So, now I'm going to sit back away from that ward out of range of it and wait for Nasus to get there. 
So I'm going to wait for Nasus to get the slow off, which he did. So now I'm going to speed up because my Q moves so fast, plus my flash, I can close that distance down past the war so he can't get away. And plus the exhaust from Nasus, we keep him right there, and I'm able to taunt it, and we get the kill. So even though there's a ward in the bushes, just sit back and use your, like, use put something to your advantage. Like, for instance, for me, Ramus for the speed on his Q, um, allows me to get th even through that ward, making it totally useless. Again, which basically means he basically wasted 75 gold there. And the same thing goes for, like, a Shaco, like a gank from a jungle deal. Um, so now that we know we had we took out Renekton top, we know they're out of position near their dragon. So I'm like, okay, we're gonna try to get this tower. So I immediately ult, finish off the creep wave, and I know, and again, my ult works on towers. So as you can see, I'm doing extra damage to that tower right there. Oh. So we're gonna stay. We're both pretty tanky, so we're gonna stay, get that tower, and get the heck out. Now I told them to get back, get back, get back, because I'm um, uh, which is out of mana, O O M. So I told him, dude, I'm on, I'm on, we gotta get out, gotta get out. So luckily we are moving fast enough so they can't catch us. So now I see a couple tops, so I'm gonna pop the uh, ward on Baron. Now I was thinking about going back, but the blue buff is up again. Again, man, I, I don't think I ever gave zero blue buff. <laughs> that's a that's a poor jungler. <laughs> helping, helping his AP. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean. And it would blow up again, so that way I didn't have to go back. I just remember why I got it, because I didn't want to go back. So that way I get mana back up again. So now we see uh, Renekton hitting up, and then out of nowhere, woo, hey, let's flunk. So I immediately Q, taunt her, start attacking her. Then I know this, like, oh, she's doing a lot of damage to me. Um, but luckily, uh, Sorako's right there, so she get the heal off right there. Um. And I see LeBlanc coming back down again, so I mean like, okay, well, we'll get her this time. So I taunt her to keep her in put, and Zerith right there, so we get the kill. Now, there's half the team initiated on us, and there's Graves, so now I tried to... I spun to try to get Graves, and I don't know how, but somehow I, like, see, I'm kind of get stuck on Soraka. I don't know why that was. Um, probably for the best, because I don't know if we would have got the kill or not. But, um, yeah, it was kind of weird how I got stuck on Soraka. Double kill. There's Koi going off top. My goodness. Yeah, Tristana is a very good champion with the, the whole her tech speed and everything. And there's a Soraka heals, which is very. <laughs> I love Soraka, as you guys know. Oh, I see Graves bottom, and I told guys go like watch me like kill this Graves. So. I thought he was going to push down a little further, but unfortunately he didn't. He started going back. If he pushed down, I probably would have killed him, because you're going to see how much damage I do to him. So I taunt him in. I miss my Q. If I, I might actually kill him if I got the Q off, too. Ah, oh, see, it's so low. I think if I hit him with that Q, the Q ended just too soon. I might have, it might have been able to kill him. Ugh. Oh, such a heartbreak. But yeah, that's the power of Ramos against the AD carry. Especially when you get this much of an advantage. Oh yeah, make sure you use your Q guys to move around the jungle and you can also put down wards and stuff while you're spinning around, so... Yeah, they're calling for Baron right now, but we see them a bunch of a mid, so we're like, uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's a taunt there. You usually pull a chat out of there. That's the first time somebody chatted. Um, but yeah, there was that was that was on LeBlanc because she bought a uh, Magi's, which was really bad of them. So they have the tower, and they're like, "Oh, Saber, you're alone. Help them do that." I'm like, "Oh, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? I'm not going to do that." Connor and pull her right through, and, <laughs> and they were laughing at me. When they, just, they were like, "Saber, don't do that." I'm like, "What? I'm going to taunt him right to you." <laughs> Alright, so here's another, um, another gone back and by again. An and here's my special item Rylice! You guys are going, why did you just buy Rylice? 
Well, here's the thing about Rylax. On top of the fact that you get health and you have a 1 ratio with Q, the slow actually works with all your skills. Uh, when you hit them with Q, on top of being slow on anyways with Q, you get slow again. And then W, when they attack you, you actually slow them when they attack you. And then Taunt forces them to attack you, so you also get that. And then, of course, your ultimate, your AoE ult, as you can see with all the slowing, the minions right there, the white spidery kind of thing. Yeah, that's the slow for my ultimate there. So, Rylize actually works with all of them, and when you think about it, when you ult as Ramus, it lasts for 8 seconds. So that means with a Rylize and your ult, you actually get an 8 second slow. That is a lot of slow. That's a very long slow duration. And again, because we have position on the jungle, I'm actually getting raids. Uh, Renekton came over to look at me, but uh, he immediately started going back. He's like, ah, never mind. So I'm just going to sit in the bush. I'm thinking that because I see the top lane kind of pushing a little bit, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe somebody's going to come over here and maybe get raised. I didn't notice it. And here, sure enough, here goes LeBlanc. So, boom, I get LeBlanc there. I taunt her. started hitting her like that, but I know Renekton is nearby. I just wanted to pop her passive. There it goes. Just want to get her passive out of the way and get that. And then I was going to hit top lane to, uh, to push it. And see, there's my Q. There's the Q for the slow that way. Plus, again, it's a 1 to 1 ratio with this Q skill. So that's an extra 80 damage to my Q skill, which I didn't level up first. I always put one, I only put one point, and you only put one point in your Power Ball until you level up all the other skills. Your Power Ball doesn't, you, should, you don't really do much damage to Power Ball. Power Ball is really for your uh, movement around and that quick uh, little knockout. Knock, not really knock off, it's kind of a knock out skill. Oh, so here my team's actually a team fighting a little bit. We did lose Tristana. Now, unfortunately, I was out of mana, so I couldn't really, um, so couldn't taunt anybody, unfortunately. But as you see, when they were attacking me, they were slowing them. So at least when I put my W down, at least I was doing the slowing them down. And I got them to uh, run back. Because they probably didn't notice that I was low on mana, but if I did, if I was able to get that taunt, I probably probably would have gotten a kill there. But I just unfortunately, I was just out of mana. So now we're trying to go after and push them off. Now I ball up, and I'm trying to get one of them. So LeBlanc jumps down, the Vayne jumps away, the LeBlanc jumps away, but we did at least get Leon into ult there, so that was worth it, I guess. So keep in the tower, try to get more tower damage down there. Uh, Soraka popped her ult, so now we get back health again. Now we just single for Baron because we got them all, all backed up in their, um, in their base. So we said, okay, let's just go Baron. Because we wait for Tristana to get up, and now she's up. And again, you pop those wards down there so you can see their team coming, so that way you know what's going on. Um, so now we have full vision of them and when they're going to come. And sure enough, here they come. Now, one bad thing about me is I did smite a little early. Um, unfortunately, I did miss my uh, smite a little bit. So, uh, now <laughs> Goy jumps over the top and starts attacking them. We're like, uh, dude, we don't have smite or flash. We can't really get to you, dude. So here I'm spinning, trying to get in there, trying to knock them off on away, and my ball ends before I get there. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> like, yike, yike, yike. And we're all out of mana, and you see Goyce in there, and is like, Oh, come on, let me out, let me out, let me out. We're like, no, we gotta go back, we gotta go back. <laughs> so now, here we go, I'm gonna die. Uh, for this point now, I'm at the point where I kind of need magic resistance. Um, so I get the uh, Negatron uh, cloak for the magic resistance, and of course the uh, Regoth Bandit uh, to work on that force of nature, which increases my movement speed, actually. Which is why I got that. Um, sometimes I get Banshee, sometimes I get Force of Nature. Um, I went Force of Nature for the extra movement. And of course, some more wards. Um, when you're jungler, or even tank wise, or for instance, Soraka, you're, you're pretty much, your Dice's job is to buy wards. Now, here's the situation where Tom was going to gank. Uh, Gank Graves, but then I, I saw a vein, so I tried to go after him, and Graves saw that, so he went to come up, and then that's when Shistana, like, cornered him. 
he didn't see Tristana there coming down, but because he reacted to, uh, to Vayne, um, he was reacted to Vayne and was spinning on her, he tried to uh, react to that and help her out, but then realized that <laughs> he was getting killed by Tristana. Oh, and here's the other thing. Um, I knew that there were mid and were coming up bottom, so that's why I said, dude, come up here, we'll gank them as they come across. And sure enough, we knew I knew they were going to come across the top there because that was the only path to get to the bottom lane. So I told Zareth, I'm like, dude, come up here, we're going to gank them right there. And sure enough, we did. And I have no idea why they keep trying to go after me. Why do you go after Ramus? I don't know. And they died again. And here comes Renekton over. <laughs> Zero pops him off. In the tower, now we're able to fill free reign in another base. Um, unfortunately, I got stuck in Graves' little smoke bomb there, so I, I lost track of uh, Renekton. I think we slayed him, actually. Um, so now everybody was like, go top, go top. I'm like, no, 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 go mid, go mid. Um, because, um, I also was getting the top turrets. So we're like, no, come here, get bottom turret. That way we get two turrets at the same time. Now, I see LeBlanc going after, um, Zara. Unfortunately, she just got out of the range of the taunt, so I couldn't quite get her. So there's Vayne. I try to taunt her. She disappeared just before I get the taunt off, so I couldn't get the taunt off again. So there's my Negatron Cloak at work, because LeBlanc's not able to get that damage on me. Um, when you're on top of you like that, make sure you do that roll that Q down, because that's how I got the Leona off me. And there's the Taunt down on Graves to hold them in place. And uh, of course I'm ulting, so that slows everybody down around me, so they can't really move. And there's that Rally at work. So you see how everything just kind of comes together as she goes along. Now, even though Nasus is a pretty big carry, um, they had their, all their damage dealers up, so we didn't really feel comfortable staying, so we ended up bailing out. And now, as you can see LeBlanc coming down, how I'm balling up like that and staying right on top of Soraka, some champions that have the ability to jump on people like, uh, like a Lee Sin or a, a Xin Zhao or a LeBlanc, um, you, those champions try to jump on another champion. So, But to help defend that as a Ramus, just do your ball skill, do your Q skill, and just land, stay on top of them. So that prevents them from jumping on them. Because if they do, it knocks them out for a second, and he also gets you within range for the taunt. So it prevents them from actually attacking your fellow ally, and you are able to defend them that way. So that's why I was spinning on top of uh, Soraka like that, to keep uh, LeBlanc from jumping on him. And again, just just getting more farm in their jungle, because again, we have the position there. And now I'm going to go back for my last buy, I'll say hey guys, be right back, because I had a lot of money, and I finished my uh, Force of Nature. So now I have pretty much my full build on Ramus. it's pretty much a full build. Um, and I get a couple more wards, getting such a job. And at this point, I mean, we're all fed, I mean, we are, we're pretty much fed to the hill. And we're pretty much getting ready for the last uh, last fight there. And I put a ward in that bush just in case we're going to do Baron again. That's what that was for. So Graves is down. Now Renekton's down. So we're able to push up. Now I finally get the vein. I flash in Taunt. So I held her in place and we get the kill finally. So now I ult up now, now I ult so I get both towers, so now I'm ulting both towers at the same time and the creep wave that's popping out at the same time. So I'm able to do all that damage right there to all of them. And then I position myself right in the middle there and I actually taunt, I taunt, I taunt her off the, uh, off the platform there to try to kill her, which is kind of funny. And there's the victory. Um, so that's Ramus in the nutshell, um, and again here's the uh, final numbers right here. Uh, I went 5, 0, and 7 with 500, 152 creeps, so I actually all farmed their LeBlanc um, in the end because of all the creep farm and of course his ultimate on the lanes and for about 10.8k. Uh, so we had pretty much all, like doubled their money because we had so many um, 
because we have so many dragons and of course the uh, towers on top of that. It just snows balls on top of itself. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this uh, commentary on Ramus, and uh, especially Jungle Ramus, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you and have a good day.